we have leftovers from a Costco rotisserie chicken, and we're gonna turn that into a couple of other meals. So stay with me, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it is gonna be quick, easy, and delicious. Welcome back to Dinner Made Easy with Dina, and I'm Dina. So today we have the rest of a Costco chicken that we're gonna turn into a couple of more meals, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Super easy to do, and especially if you're busy and you just don't know what else you're gonna do for dinner. These pull together really quick, and they're absolutely delicious. So stay with me, we're gonna take you on a journey and show you how quick it is and how delicious these meals can be. So let's get to it. Here we have our leftover Costco chicken, and I'm taking that out of the bag, and I'm going to just take off one side of the chicken breast. Since we're making a chicken pot pie for just two people, that's all that we need for this recipe. So all I do is I run the knife along the bone, and then I slice underneath it very carefully, and then I'm just gonna pull that right off, and then we're gonna start by chopping that chicken breast up. Now we do remove the skin and I save that skin back in the bag with the rest of the chicken. Okay so we're removing that skin and then we're going to go ahead and dice up the chicken breast and I'm just making it in bite-sized dices and we're going to go ahead when we're finished chopping this we're going to go ahead and put it into our pot and we have a medium-sized saucepan that we're using because we're going to heat up the meat and the vegetables all together to get a nice running start on our chicken pot pie. This is a simple recipe. Okay, our next ingredient is some frozen vegetables. Now, I just used about two-thirds of the bag of frozen vegetables and we're gonna place it right into the pot with our diced chicken. And you can put as many as you want in there, but that was about the right size for the dish that we're choosing to use. Now that we've got the first couple ingredients together, we're gonna to add one can of cream of chicken soup, and it's just a, a one can. And it doesn't matter what brand of chicken, cream of chicken soup you use, if you don't have cream of chicken, cream of celery works, or cream of mushroom. Then we're going to give that a good stir. And let's get rid of that lid. <laughs> so let's give that a nice little stir. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat this through. But just before we heat it through, we're going to add a little bit of milk. Now I wound up, I put about a quarter of a cup of milk in there. And then later on, you're going to see that I went back in and I put another quarter of a cup of milk in because it was just a little too thick for me. And you can make it as thick or thin as you like. And we're just going to let this heat up together and stir it every once in a while because we want to make sure it doesn't stick. Um, and it also gives you an idea of what consistency you have. And you can thin it out if it's a little too thick for you. And make sure that you let it heat all the way through before we go ahead and put it into our dish. Now this is going to be a super, super easy recipe. Anybody can do this. It's very, very efficient as far as time goes. And it's a great quick meal that has a lot of flavor. So don't be afraid to try this recipe. I'm telling you, it's really, really delicious. And you got to do something with that leftover Costco chicken. And this is a great way to do something with it. There we go back in with some more milk, like I said. So it really it was about a half a cup of milk altogether that we put into this. And we give that a nice stir. Once again, we want to make sure everything gets heated all the way through. Um, we're going to be using some biscuits today instead of a regular pie crust. So it's essential that you have this heat it up really well because that keeps the biscuits from sinking in and dropping down into your mixture and we want those biscuits to be nice and golden brown on the top and cooked all the way through so really important to make sure that our 
filling is nice and piping hot so that our biscuits don't sink. So I'm going to be using a baking dish. It's about a five by five and it's about three inches deep. And what we're going to do, and, and I did spray the inside of the dish just to make sure nothing would stick and it'd be easy cleanup. So we're just going to pour all that filling right into our dish. It already smells wonderful. I mean, it's so simple. You guys really do need to give this a try. <laughs> so we're just going into the dish with it. And then let's give that a nice smooth. Here we go. We're going to smooth that out just a little bit. And now we're going to be using some Grand's biscuits. And these are frozen biscuits. I placed four right on the top of this mixture. And I probably almost could have put another biscuit in the center if I really tried hard. But we only needed four, so that's what we went with. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that right onto a baking sheet just in case anything bubbles over. And it's going to go into the oven and the oven is set at 375. And I did bake that for about 30 minutes. But keep your eye on your biscuits. Make sure they don't get too brown. And if they look like they're getting too brown, just take a piece of foil and place right over the top. So here we are at about 23 minutes, not quite ready, so we're going to give it just a little bit more time in the oven. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and it is done. We're pulling it right out of the oven and it smells heavenly. Those biscuits did spread a little bit, but that's okay. And we're going to brush the tops with some butter. So see what I mean by, I probably could have squeezed an extra biscuit in the middle, but that's fine. We didn't need a we didn't need a fifth biscuit it's just perfect the way it was okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to dish up a nice taste and see how it came out now this is the first time i've made it with a biscuit so this is all new to me too and it smells amazing and it looks great we're gonna just see how well that came out but I can tell you right now that if it tastes as good as it smells this is the way I'm going to be making my chicken pot pie going forward oh it just smells so good um, so we're going to go ahead and give that a nice taste in just a moment okay so our chicken pot pie is ready and we're going to give this a taste it looks, oh man, it smells so good and it looks really good. This is super quick and super easy, you guys. Don't waste that Costco chicken. It's like gold. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is definitely how I'm going to be making my chicken pot pie. Absolutely delicious. Thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Have a great rest of your day. Bye now.